kingdom planted. The next level to kingdom, according to the hierarchy classification, is phylum for animals and division for plants. Let's have a look at different divisions in the kingdom planted. There are five of them, namely Talophyta, Bryophyta, Pteridophyta, Gymnosperms, and Angiosperms. Angiosperms are further grouped as dicots and monocots. These divisions are done based on a differentiation in plant body components, presence of vascular tissues, ability to bear seeds, and whether seeds are enclosed in fruit or not. Vascular tissues are required for food and water transportation within the plant body. Thallos in Greek means green shoot and phyta indicates plants. Plants in this group, Thallophyta, do not have differentiated plant body. This means that you cannot make out the leaf, stem or roots of these plants. You might have seen algae growing in ponds or in aquariums. Algae are thallophytes. As these are aquatic, there is no need of food and water transportation. That is, they lack vascular tissues. Bruon in Greek means moss and phyta indicates plant. The plants in this group have differentiation of stem and leaf-like structures. They do not have specialized vascular tissues. Bryophytes are called the amphibians of the plant kingdom because they can survive well on land as well as in water. Moss is an example of this division. You would have seen moss growing on old stone walls, especially during the rainy season. Pteride in Greek means fern and phyta indicates plant. The plant body of pteridophyta is differentiated into roots, stem and leaves. Pteridophytes have vascular tissues. Ferns are examples of pteridophyta. People grow ferns in pots for decorative purposes. The thallophytes, bryophytes and pteridophytes have naked embryos called as spores. The reproductive organs in these groups are inconspicuous and are called cryptogamy, which means those with hidden reproductive organs. Gymno means naked and sperma means seed. Gymnosperms are plants that bear naked seeds. They are usually evergreen and woody. Pine trees are examples of gymnosperms. Angio means closed and sperma means seed in Greek. These are also called flowering plants and bear seeds inside fruits. The seeds have seed leaves within them called cotyledons. Plants with seeds having a single cotyledon are called monocots and those with two are called dicots. You know lots of examples for angiosperms. Green peas are dicots and corn are monocots.